Hello, I served as the curator for this piece between the years 2000 and 2002 when I lived at 258 Carlton No. 2 in Brooklyn's Fort Greene. My name is Greg Clampfer, or Greg Clampsfer as Con Ed knew me. This is Current Resident. We began collecting and holding the mail that was delivered to the address with the purpose of returning it, but the mail was incessant. It was not bothersome, rather interesting. This is the story of the residence I was able to compile and thought you might find it interesting. We rented the property from Roberta Kyle, an English lady who ran Fort Green Realty on the corner of DeKalb and Cumberland. She had a dog called Mr. Spliff. Benjamin was the super she hired and we seldom saw. To my knowledge, there was never a pool at the residence. Valerie was a lawyer. Donald Kyle was active still in the Fort Green community. Elizabeth had lived with Stephanie Alton. Josh Wallach graduated from Harvard Business School and lived with David Sokosh. I didn't know anything about Jason, and my favorite name of all was B.B. Ballora. Ludlow Beckett was the most Shakespearean-sounding resident. Roger Guinevere Smith was an actor, and he was in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, who was also married to Carolina. Diane Martell was the first occupant who lived below us. She was a commercial and video director. When she moved out, an Icelandic directing team called the Sonori Brothers moved in. Ivar and Uter were actually cousins. Uter was married to a beautiful Nicaraguan model named Melinda Prado. While living there, they had a boy named Agula Sonori, also known as Prado Baby Boy. We never found out who Mr. TV Gibson was. We figured it was business related, joining Papi Inc. and Orca Design Limited. 258 was bought by Mark Albright by the end of our stay for what was unconfirmed to be $1.2 million. During my stay, I lived with Andy Hall, a.k.a. Rufus T. Bone Hall, a.k.a. Rufus T. in Bone Hall. I also assumed a few identities of my own, being Blue Clampfer and Carl Clampsfer. We also lived with Eric M. Schultz, a Texan who worked at Morton's and can throw a good frisbee. And when he left, Stacy Johnson, another Texan, replaced her. Renee Sekula, Stacy's cousin, and Stephen Hall, Andy's brother, also lived with us long enough to get mail. In a strange twist of fate, I ended up working for Daniel Freeze and Julian Bevan. They were my bosses who had lived at 258 Carlton 10 years previous. I think it's important that you understand I was not obsessed about finding out about these people, but despite all our signs and speaking with the U.S. Postal Service, deluge of mail and these people kept coming and coming and coming. I hope you enjoy living at 258 and find it as interesting as we did. If you are interested in becoming part of Current Resident, please contact me and I will make you part of the project. Thank you.